Hello folks, um, today I am planning to do a unboxing of a uh, Gamo Magnum air rifle that I had ordered for a couple weeks ago through a Pyramid Air. Um, wasn't due to be out till the 1st of next month, which would have been July 1st, but to my surprise, Pyramid Air, they um, must have received the, uh, the rifle early and sent it out to me. Um, I received the rifle today and uh, going online and not seeing too many uh, reviews or whatnot being this is a, a new model from Gamo this year I believe. I thought I'd be one of the first to maybe do a unboxing review of some sort so here we go. It's my first time please excuse my arms and um, let's do this. So as you see, I had placed an order for uh, two of these Gamo Buddy Gun Air Rifle Gun Slings a few weeks back. Um, my other one is on my Gamo Bone Collector Bowl Whisperer. Um, I haven't been out to test that gun yet either, but I, I do love it. Um, can't wait to get out and give that one a try. Um, so I will be putting this secondary one onto the Magnum here as soon as I get it open and, and all situated. So that is what that is. Try not to cut myself here. I did order a couple of uh, tins of pellets. I think they're for Stankos. I'll have to check them out. Got a bad memory. So, here it is. I think that's all. Yipper. So these will be the pellets. I'll just uh, show you real quick what I ordered here. You know, I, I don't know what's going to work well with this gun. Uh, this is a .22, by the way. And these are .22 pellets. So yeah, to refresh my memory, uh, these are the heavy long range pellets um, made by Skemco. Uh, 0.22, 18 grams. Can't wait to try them. See what kind of damage they do, I guess. And for the other, these are also Skenkos. These are the 0.22 Ultra Mag metal tips. Uh, they are new. Um, 18.2 grams. Can't wait to try them out as well. Anyhow, those were ordered with the gun. Been uh, awaiting them. Here it is. You can see it. I'll move in for a closer shot. So, there it is, 1300 feet per second using the PBA Platinums, I think, from what I read, Gamo tests out 10 grain, uh, 10 grain pellets to achieve that, um, that high of a rate, so, obviously, I will be shooting higher grain pellets, so that will not be precise with what I'll be shooting out of my uh, gun here. Comes with the scope. That's what it looks like. Alright. 
So here's the backside shot of the box. What it looks like. Sorry about the low lighting, folks. Hopefully in the future here I can uh, do a better job of these videos. Green is for hunting, uh, pest control red, target in the competition, blue. Okay, so, let's get this baby open, let's see what's inside this box. open. Here's a glance of how it's packaged. Got the rifle there. Got the scope. This is the bag. Along with that, just a pamphlet. So I think I will assemble this and uh, we will take a closer look at it. Alright, so I just wanted to show what I pulled out of the uh, scope box. We've got the uh, 3 to 9 by 40 scope made by Gamel. Um, it's got some weight to it, looks pretty good. I will test it out for the time being until I can uh, get a different scope. But if it, you know, works out well, I may just keep it on there. Um, not sure if it's mill dotted or not. Doesn't look as though it is. So yeah, there's a chance I'll be getting a different scope with mill dots. Uh, comes with a cleaner, along with the Allen wrench. Flip it to the other side so we can see what the other side looks like. Not too different, about the same. Right. There it is from the uh, right side shot or view. Pistol grip also uh, has a good grip there. And the buttstock, so we are well aware of. Quick top shot. If you guys can see that. Gamo Magnum Velocity 1300 feet per second. Alright, so this is a different shot. Before I mount the scope on here, it's got the uh, sights. Feels real nice, nice grip. Uh, patent and pending rail. The uh, safety, safety on, safety off. It's two, uh, two stage trigger. And gamma buttstock. All right, so there we have it. Uh, just mounted the scope. Um, before I do a close up of that. I just wanted to mention that I did come across this secondary Allen wrench that was stapled on the inside of the Magnum air rifle box. Um, so 
don't forget to spot that when you uh, get yours if you choose to purchase one anyhow here is what it looks like again that is the gamo scope that came along with the gun 3 to 9 by 40 um, it's not too bad on there it's not a mil dot not a mil dot reticle but that's fine uh, I'll just work with it for now back it out a little bit here okay so just to sum it up here uh, thank you all for watching I know there's quite a few of you that don't favor gamel too much but you know I spotted this uh, the choice between um, the PCP and the brake barrels you know I, I just put myself in a situation where okay if I was out small game hunting um, would I really need a PCP carrying the extra tanks to recharge or charge up the uh, PCP rifle that's something I really want to do whereas a brake barrel you know just pumping it once and having it ready to go would that be more convenient when it came to the uh, small game hunt and I figured I'd start with this you know again I'm pretty new to the uh, whole air rifle industry or whatnot so I know there are probably probably plenty of other uh, guns out there um, but I chose Gamma this one stood out to me that I'd go with it and see where it goes uh, specs on this gun here um, it is IGT Mach 1 gas piston uh, is it the IGT inner gas technology that Gamo has it's brake barrel single shot velocity is up to 1300 feet per second and 0.22 with PBA platinum ammo and I did mention earlier that uh, the PBA platinum ammo is I from what I understand Gamo tests at a 10 grain level pellet so that's that's where they're getting those numbers from uh, fixed fiber optic front sight, fully adjustable fiber optic rear sight. Um, I didn't zoom into that or whatnot. Uh, 11 millimeter scope rail with scope stop, rifled steel barrel, SWA shock wave absorber, recoil pad reduces felt recoil recoil by up to 74 percent. That is the uh, the rail up there, the patent and pending rail I, I mentioned earlier. Apparently, it's supposed to absorb most of the recoil shock to hold your scope in place something of that sort if I'm wrong feel free to correct me all-weather ambidextrous thumb hole stock with black rubber inserts on grip forearm and cheek piece custom action trigger CAT I think I mentioned earlier SAT but anyhow it is CAT I apologize it's not SAT that's something you take back in grade school or high school or whatnot Independently adjusts first and second stage, as I mentioned, allows you to tailor your trigger. Automatic cocking safety system, so as you cock it, it'll automatically flip to safe. Manual safety, recoil reducing rail, maximizes scope lifespan with 99.9% .9 recoil compensation. So these are the uh, optics features or whatnot, and as you're probably realizing, I, I am reading off a sheet here that I printed out from pyramid ears. Again back to the optics, 3 to 9 times magnification, 40 millimeter adjustable objective lens, 1 inch tube, 30 by 30, reticle with fine crosshairs perfect for target acquisition, 40 feet to 12 feet field of view, 3.5 inch eye relief, 21.6 ounce, 13.5 inch long, fog proof, shock proof, waterproof, includes the lens caps. And as we know, you know, benefits of the IG, IGT Mach 1 over a metal mainspring. Uh, large cylinder delivers more velocity and terminal penetration, smoother cocking and shooting, increased precision and speed, less vibration, no spring fatigue, even if you have or if you leave it cocked for hours. Functions per, uh, perfectly in cold weather, lasts longer than a metal spring. Um, and to run down some more specs real quick here, again, it, my rifle here is a .22 max velocity 1300 feet per second muzzle energy they are saying 26.6 foot pounds uh, loudness too low medium barrel length 21.3 inch overall length 49.2 inch shot capacity one barrel is rifled uh, fiber optics front and rear sight uh, scopable yes two stage adjustable trigger uh, butt plate soft rubber recoil pads the green ribbon on the back there did a little bit more research here and again I, I slipped my mind as to what they stood for the uh, 
green stands for a hunting rifle. Again, mine is green for hunting, and that's what I plan to use it for, small game. Weight of it is about 6.88 pounds. All right, I'll just put the straps on. That's how that fits on there. Can't wait to get out in the field to use it. Alright folks, I figured I was going to do this so this would kind of shorten my time at the rifle range. This uh, I will be um, scope in my rifle scope here or zeroing it in at 10 yards this is my hallway uh, measures about 15 feet or so about 10 yards I will be using my Bushnell laser bore sight that I uh, so here we go all right there that is Allow me to click away here. And I tell you, this does come in pretty convenient. Hopefully, it'll get me uh, going when I get to the range. I understand that these red dot uh, laser bore sights range about 30 to 40 bucks or so. It's fortunate to get mine for free. Was not even aware, to be honest, when I purchased my scope, and uh, the uh, the fella helping me mentioned it, and you know, wasn't even really paying attention to what he was saying until I got home, and I was like, "Hey, what is this?" Come to find out, free laser bore sight from Bushnell. So there we have it, folks. Uh, Ten yards. Hopefully that gets me uh, set up and going when I get to the rain. Anyhow, thank you, and I uh, appreciate you watching.